It is one of the most loving things you can do for your family. Estate planning. It offers your loved ones financial security for their future. Joining us more this morning is estate planning attorney Sabrina Winters. Sabrina, good morning to you. Thank you so much for being here to talk about this. Thanks for having me. Uh, this is really your passion. This is very important. You say it's for estate planning is for everyone, whether you're married or single or divorced, whether you have children or not, whether you're wealthy or you're not. It's for everyone. It is for everybody, absolutely. Uh, there's a big misconception that, oh, I don't have enough money or I'm not old enough to think about this, but at every stage in our life, there is a reason to do estate planning. You're newlyweds or maybe you have um, kids now, you wanna make sure that you're planning for your kids. Retirement age, you don't need that guardianship information anymore. You need to plan more for who's going to take care of me if something happens in the future. Sabrina, what do you think keeps so many people from doing essential estate planning? Personally, I think it's just fear. Mm -hmm. It's fear of the unknown. It's fear of, well, now that I talk about it and now that I plan it, something's going to happen. And a lot of it, too, is just not knowing what's involved. Um, the attorney that you meet with really needs to hold your hand from the beginning. They need to tell you every step of the way why you're doing what you're doing. The conversation is a hard one. You know, we're going to talk mm -hmm. about death and what happens to your kids if they're minors and you pass away, or what happens if you're sick and you can't make your own medical decisions. So the conversation is a hard one to have, but it is absolutely necessary to See, make sure. Even as you say it, Sabrina, I get that little feeling inside. Yeah. I think, ooh, yeah. it, it is frightening, but you're saying it is, it is critical. It's it so is important. Absolutely. You have a toothache, you go to the dentist, yeah. you have that same fear, but after you go, you feel so much better. And we plan for so much. We, we make sure we have insurance for our home and our vehicles. We plan for the what if, for those things, but we're all gonna pass away, unfortunately, and there is a very good chance that we'll, we'll get sick prior to then, but we don't plan for that, and mm -hmm. that's the hard part. Can we get back to what you said a, a few moments ago about people think they don't have enough money or enough stuff for it to make a difference? Right. To that, you say what? Everybody has something and everybody has family because most of the reason why you do estate planning is for the family you leave behind. You don't want to put your family through those hard decisions of did mom or dad want to stay alive artificially? What did they want? The conversations are so important to have along with that written plan. Mm -hmm. Even though that medical decision is gonna help us individually, it's making sure that your family doesn't have to go through that. It's also planning a funeral. You know, it is really heart-wrenching to sit at the funeral home just hours after a loved one passes away and not know what they wanted. But if they had a written plan, it is so much easier mm -hmm. for the family to make sure that your wishes are followed so that you get to keep the control during a time that, that you really don't have it anymore. So we decide, okay, now it's time for us to talk to an estate planning attorney. What should we look for? You wanna make sure that the experience is there. There's tough questions that need to be asked and the answers that are solicited might need other questions as follow-ups. So experience is important. Obviously, you have to be comfortable with that attorney because you're going to divulge a lot of asset information. You're going to divulge a lot of private family matters. And if you don't feel that comfort level with your attorney, the plan's not going to work. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, you really need to make sure that it's not an attorney that's just filling in the blanks on documents. Every single plan needs to be drafted for that client, specifically uh, indicating what their wishes were and what their goals are for their family. Mm -hmm. Why are you so passionate about this? Just as I was graduating law school 15 years ago, seems like a lifetime ago, but um, I had an uncle who started showing signs of Alzheimer's. And he was always this happy-go-lucky guy. Nothing was ever gonna go wrong with him. He was gonna be fine. He was gonna die in his sleep, like we all wish we would. Mm -hmm. um, but he started losing his memory a lot, and um, I encouraged him just get something in writing. Well, the choice obviously is I don't want one. That is a choice. I don't believe it's a good one, but it was still his choice. He refused to do it. Well, I had to watch my father watch him get resuscitated four times before he actually passed away. Mm. And it's hard for the family to see somebody go through that. So I see it, saw what happened beforehand, 
not having a plan to be able to let him pass away without suffering. Uh, and then I saw it later when we had to settle his estate, um, you know, without a written plan, and, mm -hmm. and it was tough. So I bring a lot of that personal experience as well, and I, I know what my clients are going through. I know how to ask that question that's hard to ask, but kind of in a way that they'll feel comfortable in, in sharing with me. Now, coming up on Thursday, you have a workshop that will make things a lot easier for mm -hmm. families. Yeah, so the workshop, we're really gonna be talking about the ways in which the family can make it the easiest for their family. So we're gonna concentrate mostly on why a trust is so important. It's a very underrated document, and I think a lot of it is because there's not enough education. People just don't know enough about it. And how, uh, financial powers and healthcare powers of attorney really are um, important regardless of what stage you are in life. Mm. If you would like to RSVP for that event, you can call 704-843-1446. 704-843-1446, space is limited. Or if you'd like to go ahead and book your consultation with Sabrina, you can do it now. The first 20 Charlotte Today viewers will receive $200 off their estate planning. Again, the number 704 843-1446. That's good for the first 20 callers who mentioned Charlotte today. Sabrina, thank you so much for being here today Thanks to talk so about much. this. Great I appreciate it. Thank you. All right.